Subscribe my channel now. Once upon a time, in a village nestled between two green hills, there lived a poor farmer named Leo. Leo had a tiny piece of land where he grew vegetables. But no matter how hard he worked, the land produced just enough for him and his family to survive. One day, as Leo was tilling his soil, he found a peculiar golden seed. The seed shone brightly, and Leo felt a strange warmth when he held it. Thinking it might be special, he planted the seed in a corner of his field. The next morning, to Leo's surprise, where he had planted the seed, a tall plant with a single, large golden fruit had grown. The fruit was unlike anything Leo had ever seen. Its skin was golden and shimmered in the sunlight. Curious, Leo decided to take the fruit to the village market. At the market, the golden fruit attracted everyone's attention. People from nearby villages came to see the magical fruit. A wealthy merchant, seeing the uniqueness of the fruit, offered Leo a bag full of gold coins in exchange. Leo, however, hesitated. He remembered how his land had given him this fruit, and he thought of all the children in the village who had never tasted such a wonder. Instead of selling the fruit, Leo cut it into small pieces and shared it with everyone. To their amazement, it was the sweetest fruit they had ever tasted. As days passed, something magical happened. The children who had eaten the fruit started finding small golden seeds in their pockets. They planted them, and soon, golden fruit plants began to appear throughout the village. The village was not poor anymore. The wealthy merchant hearing of this magic visited Leo. I will give you a chest of gold for one seed, he said. But Leo smiled and gave him a seed for free. Plant it, share the fruit, and watch the magic unfold. And so, the story of the poor farmer who found a golden seed became a legend. It taught the village and everyone who heard the tale that sharing could create magic, turning scarcity into abundance. And Leo? He continued to farm, always with a smile, knowing that real wealth wasn't in gold coins, but in the golden act of sharing.